It's Friday the 13th of May and I thought I'd do a little update on what's going on in the cellar as we've hit a stage now where uh, I might stop for a little bit. Um, so last weekend I finished uh, plastering the ceiling. Um, I had done a layer of uh, about four centimeters thick of insulation plaster which was the worst material I've ever had to work with. It's like plastering with shaving foam. So it's really light and it just keeps falling down but when it's dry it just turns into it's like styrofoam um so that's to stop any heat from upstairs coming down into the cellar and then uh, around the entry archway and the ceiling and partially uh one of the walls i plastered with uh, a lime plaster basically so that's all breathable although the ceiling probably isn't that breathable anymore with the uh, insulation plaster um and of course all the walls were uh, finished, I can't remember if I did a video on that, but I finished um, repointing all the walls that I wanted to do and uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that now. Um, and compared to the other cellar, what I did here was, as I mentioned, plastering the archway, which was a bit of a pain, but uh, that was uh, lots of gaps between the, the stones up there, so I thought it would be just kind of cleaner and uh, would be uh, dust and stuff falling down. And uh, the advantage of this course was that I'm able to embed uh, the fittings for the lights and stuff. So the um, movement sensor and for the lights so that they're a little bit more, uh, you know, refined looking than in the, in the beer cellar where they're a bit raw. But uh, yeah, next step, uh, well, these have to be painted, of course, but uh, I'm not going to do that until we sort the floor out. Um, so the floor has to be excavated out, maybe the 30 centimetres down or however deep I can go and then put in uh, some uh, gravel and uh, crushed stone and I want to put brick um, as a floor like in the other cellar but I'm finding it really hard to find old brick and I'm not going to buy new brick so we might go that route, um, I'll have to figure it out. So that's where it is at the moment and uh, some other projects to do. So I think I might pause on this and maybe in between take a few bucketfuls of soil out, distribute them around the garden. And uh, there we go. That's the update.